I'm leaving that guy parked in the water tonight. Because I think early in the morning I'm going to get in it. And I ate breakfast tonight. So I can skip that in the morning. Oh, I'm so stuffed. <laughs> I've been going for like an hour and a half with no sun, and I just got the sun. I can hear the uh, electric motor kicking in. Oh, so nice. And from here on, I should accelerate the entire time there as the sun goes up. And I do have batteries, I just, I'm saving them. making a terrible noise <laughs> this horrible vibration and it's been doing it for the last hour after it sounded like I hit something pretty hard like a piece of wood or something anyway I finally just said all right let me stop and I climbed back there and laid on the back and looked at the propeller and it's missing a propeller blade so I guess whatever happened I was I was running pretty fast at the time when I heard this terrible noise so it probably hit whatever it hit in the water pretty hard I guess it knocked one of the blades off because the blades aren't welded on they're just kind of fit in there and bent in uh, so I guess one of the blades can come off if it smacks it against a piece of hard something hard enough anyway so for a while there I was worried I was like oh man am I getting some terrible vibration because of a you know some kind of problem with my whole system so yeah I'm glad it's just a, a fin missing from the propeller now I actually think it sounds pretty good for missing a pr propeller fin so yeah I guess when I get home I'll need to get a, get a new propeller fin in there and <laughs> I don't know attach it better I guess I mean it was on there pretty good I guess I just didn't take into account hitting pieces of wood in the water that I didn't notice under the boat. At least my, my pedal propeller seems to be fine. I guess I should look at that too. I see it. Yeah, it looks like all four pedal propeller blades are still there. So anyway, I'm uh, driving home. The motor is running on half power now because if I go any faster, it starts vibrating too much. <sighs> Couldn't this happen when I was closer to home? Whatever, I'll, I'll get there and then I'll fix it. Well, maybe I'll take this opportunity to make a some kind of fancy new propeller. Although the one that's on it is pretty awesome. I just don't know how I'm gonna... How am I gonna make another one of those propeller fins? Because I got them from an inside curve of a pipe and I don't have it. Maybe I have a piece of it left that I can get one out of. I don't know. I could do a spiral propeller. Whatever. Let's just get home. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Yeah, it snapped off right there. Huh. The metal for those fins is brittle. I was a little concerned about bending them to get them in there because I left a little crack. So I guess it was weak enough it snapped off. If I welded it, it would be all right. No, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Hey, bud. <laughs> you know, I may have raked the propeller along this bottom here because I only have a skinny channel 
I need to get a better parking spot. I was hoping to set a new speed record today. <clears throat> so far, my fastest return trip is just under three hours. And it wasn't like I was maxing out speed or anything at that time. I also had kind of a heavy load. Anyway, I'm sure I could go much faster. So yesterday, I took both propellers off, polished them, got them nice and smooth, put them back on. I uh, made sure the batteries were fully charged. And now that I've used it a little bit, I kind of have a better idea of uh, how much battery power I really have. And uh, yeah, then the propeller broke. I think, well, I'll just have to fix the propeller and then do it again. And it was still just over three hours with the broken propeller the entire way back because I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it broke when I was almost there. So it's, it's still not bad, but yeah, I can go a lot faster. Ooh, I want to optimize this one day. Right, see what I got here. This guy here is pretty much the best propeller I've made. I wonder if I can make it fit on a, man, not the right size anything. I guess I could copy it. I just waxed this, which is a piece of fiberglass that's curved this way and then that way, you know, like a saddle curve. And I made it by stretching a piece of screen across uh, a circle, like a wire circle, and then bending the circle, you know, so it would make that saddle shape. I made it years ago. Oh, and after I got the screen in the right shape, I, I put some fiberglass on it and then took it off the, uh, the steel ring and that saddle shape seems to be pretty good for propellers propeller blades no jamie what did you do